Hi guys, it's me again. Hello friends. Okay, let's ground it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, please may the words that come out of my mouth make you happy, you and the Father. May you rejoice at what I say. Please help me and please give me humility. Amen. Okay guys, so could you please pray for me and my new friend, Carmelo? So I just met him. Well, I've met him before. He's moved into my house. He's really cool. He is rolling with the Holy Spirit. The Lord has given me a roommate. Oh, I've been living alone in my room and it's very full of trash. But when Carmelo came in off the streets, he, he has been homeless. But now he's check it out. We got a bed for him. Check it out. Isn't that cool? We got a bed for him. The Lord gave us the bed. Well, it's the Lord brought Carmelo to me. It's a long story. I had the bed beneath my uh, other bed for years. I brought it out. I had new sheets. Coincidentally, we threw it on. Guys, everything is from the Lord. It's all a gift from the Lord. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so guys, please pray for me and Carmilla. Please pray that we will have humility because it's very important. So much of the power of the Holy Spirit has come on to me. At times, I'm afraid because those moments in the beginning, well, really, well, it was just recently, but I feel so intimate with the Lord Jesus Christ. When I'm like a little baby, I feel so intimate with him. But I think I may have to grow up very fast and lots of powers coming upon me from the Holy Spirit. And just please pray for me. Please pray for your friend, Evan Carey, and for Carmelo, my new friend, that we will be grounded in humility because so much Holy Spirit force is coming upon us that we're, we got to mobilize the ranks, man. I want you guys to not be afraid. Guys, do you know that what you fear, you glorify? Fear God. The Bible says fear God. Does the Bible say fear Satan? Be vigilant for Satan. They're very different. Don't fear Satan. You got the Holy Spirit indwelling in you. Are you not sure? This is how you can check. It's how you can guarantee it. Say once. Go to your knees. It's what I recommend. Go to your knees. Go to your knees and say, Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins and take my soul into your care. That's all you have to say. Say it once. Say it out loud and with a sincere heart. Bam, the Holy Spirit is in you. It's in, it's in you guys. But I see you guys as being a bit afraid. I'm afraid too. But we should fear God because that glorifies God. Imagine if everybody feared me. They're like, man, he's a bad man. Imagine there was whispers in the streets. There may be at this point. I don't know. But that glorifies what we fear. So if we fear the government, we're glorifying the government. If we fear computers, we're glorifying computers. If we fear Satan, we're glorifying Satan. We should be vigilant for Satan. But do you see the difference? It's like a sneaky pickpocket that comes around. Watch out. He's sneaky. But should we fear the sneaky pickpocket? Watch out for him. Do you guys see the difference? Because I see people being afraid. Oh, not everyone. Oh, let me make a sub section of the video. Rachel, Rachel, you are burning with a beautiful fire. Rachel, you will be in the firmament. Oh, Rachel. Wow. 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 Okay. So guys, what was I even saying? Oh, what we fear, we glorify. Oh, I have my notes here. Hold on. Oh, I've got to talk about the saddest part of the Bible. Okay. Well, I don't have it queued up at the moment. I'll have to make a separate video for that. But yes, it's coming upon so fast. We're, we're being elevated. Guys, I was really afraid of glorifying myself. I still am. But your guys' comments saying, Evan, just do it. Well, that really helps me. It took away a lot of the fear, but I also realized that it's impossible to glorify God without him sharing his glory with you. Now, it still scares me, but also, why not, baby? Let's just do this. Let's go out there. Let's fight like Christians. Let's just be unafraid. You know how happy it makes me when I see Christians, just, just people that have a personal relationship with Jesus being unafraid. It also makes me very sad when I see them fearing not having money, because it's glorifying money when I see them fearing government and things. Look, it's okay. We go through it. You know, it's normal. But if you guys want to make me really happy, be unafraid. Fear God. Be unafraid. The Holy Spirit indwells within us. You say those words once. It's indwelling with you. I assure you, it is. So now you want to make the Holy Spirit happy? Be unafraid of the world. Be unafraid of these forces. They keep us controlled with fear. Be unafraid and... You're like a little baby, but it, the Lord wants us to stand up, man. There's so little time left. So little time. Please, brothers and sisters, stand up. 
Let's do this. We're the front line of the Jesus army. Yeah, we are. Who else is? <laughs> We're, it is what it is. It's not bad. Let's stand up. I roared wildly in my other video. I couldn't contain it, man. And the Holy Spirit said, roar. Why should we be afraid of anything other than God? So, okay. Uh, was there something else I was saying here? Uh, okay. No, I need to look up uh, the part in the Bible. I can show you the saddest part of the whole Bible. Okay. So, guys, I love you. Um, I'll do a video featuring Carmelo. The Lord has sent me a beautiful soldier. Man, we are we are doing it. But you guys, do you guys realize that what I'm trying to do is get you guys to... To, to mobilize, let's move, let's share the gospel, let's not be afraid. Oh, let me uh, address really quickly. You have a salvation. If you said those words once, you have it. It's a gift of grace. You don't have to fear going to hell. Do you believe that the blood of Jesus Christ is more powerful than any sin? Do you believe that it covers all sins, past, present, and future? If you don't, why not? <laughs> all right. The whole point of his sacrifice is that we should not fear going to hell because we are saved. Do you not believe you're saved? It's the essence of the Bible. For God so loved his one and only son. That, oh, I forgot how it goes. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but shall have eternal life. Do you believe on him? Have you said those words? Do you not then have eternal life? Where do you think the eternal life is? It's in heaven. <laughs> Knowing you're going to heaven, what is there to fear? What is there to fear? Get rid of the fear. There's little time. We are living in a supernatural reality. All that Satan wants is to claim souls for himself. But if we're afraid, we're yielding to Satan. We're yielding to Satan. There's little time left. Let's go out. Let's sing the gospel. Let's say it here. Let's say it there. Let's not get held back by this fear. Oh, you might go to hell. Do you not believe the essence of the Bible? I hope you do. If you do, well, let's do this. Let's roll. I'll make another video after this. I'll do more things after this. I'm not afraid. I'm going to keep rolling. Oh, and here's a request. If you guys, people have said to me like, Evan, don't ever let them extinguish the flames and you, they won't, don't worry about it. But I want to ask a request to people in the channel. If you guys see someone who's, you know, kind of extinguishing the flames a bit, I want you guys to love them, to help them, to say to them, if you said those words, love them, love them, love them. Give them a little scripture. They're probably afraid they're going to. Well, I want them to have strength. Pray for them. If you guys see a message that says something like, whatever, and it seems to you like they're trying to extinguish the flame. First of all, don't even fear that, dude. It's burning in me so strong in the night, in the day. If I drink a beer, if I don't, if I'm tired, if I get frustrated, if whatever, it's burning in me. Oh, by the way, I so much appreciate all the prayers. It's great hearing from all you guys, but don't worry. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so what I'm saying is if you guys see a comment, you know, saying some stuff, please give them love. Add them to your prayer list because they belong to us not to Satan. See what I'm saying? Satan wants us to fight within our own ranks and to be too afraid to go out and preach the gospel. He has no power over us. The authority in us is the authority of Jesus Christ himself. So don't sit around fearing Satan all day long. Yeah, keep an eye out, but like there's little time left. Let's stand up. Let's be unafraid. And yes, we will suffer. Yes, I do suffer. I'm right back up, baby. I'm right back up. I'm right back up. I'm having to grow up right before your guys' eyes from a baby level to outwardly. I may not seem like such of a baby. I'm like, gotta get bold, man. Well, if the Lord wants it to, I said a prayer to the Lord that, Lord, I always want to be like a little child to you, you know? And then I realized I'm going to have to grow up fast in front of the world. And I'm like, okay, Lord, well, however I act on the outside, on the inside, I maintain like a little baby. It may not make sense to you guys. Hey, look, I'm wearing my shirt inside out, whatever. But what if I go outside? People think I'm crazy. What if the other Christians say I'm crazy? Okay, well, then I'll say to them, I love you. Or I'll say a scripture quote or something. But you guys help them out. Help out our wonderful friends who are our friends. Oh, and by the way, guys, let me just, oh, where did I put it, man? So my prayer list, there's a little problem with it. It doesn't have enough names on it. Yeah, it doesn't have enough names. You know how to get on my prayer list? Just ask me. Oh, by the way, I might not see all of the, the comments on YouTube, the format, 
Sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. I try to respond. It gets lost. It swamps your inbox. Please uh, email me. That's like a really good way to get in touch with me. Mofoshrimp at gmail.com. M-O-F-O-S-H-R-I-M-P at gmail.com. Or send me a WhatsApp message at 00 slash plus one three four six three four one six nine one nine five. Those are, those are, or facebook.com forward slash E-V-A-N-D-G-A-F. So there's three means of contacting me that are all easier than YouTube comments. I try to read the comments. I try to respond, but having a longer conversation via the comments, it's really hard because there's, it's just hard. So anyone get in touch with me. I love to hear from you guys. I love any and everything that you guys say. Don't worry about me. Pray for me. Sure. Pray that I keep getting humility. Humility is where the the strength comes from. It grounds it. But man, it's amazing. Join me on this ride. We're already on it. Let's roll. Let's give love to our brothers and sisters. Let's preach the gospel. Let's go out without fear, without shame. Should we be ashamed to say the name Jesus Christ? Should we be ashamed to talk to someone about it? Should we? The devil wants us to be ashamed. Should we use, you know, should we not say who we are and, and our names? Should we... Dude, let's come out. Let's come out to the world. Let the world see us. Let the world see our light. We are not ashamed. We are not afraid. Is this making sense? This is what the Lord wants. Okay? Us to come out, to mobilize. Watch how quickly this whole thing's going to happen with the channel, with me, with you, and realize it's about you. Okay? It's about Jesus Christ, but it's about you. Okay? Do you have to be exactly like me? Do you have to? No, not at all. Not at all. Do it your own style. Whatever your own style is, dress how you want, have your style. You don't got to live in a room like mine. You don't have to speak like me. Whether you drink a beer or not, whether you smoke a cigarette or not, whether you go wild or not, whether you have a nice way of dressing, that's cool. That's your style. If you, whatever your style is, man, just roll with your style. But look at the essence of what I'm saying. Don't be afraid. Get out there. We got work to do, man. So true. What Ellen, she told me as the Holy Spirit was hitting me more and more every day, he said, Evan, the Lord has work for us. It's so true. Let's get out there and work. Our salvation is guaranteed. It's a free gift. But what we do in this limited time on earth determines, you guys know how there's levels of hell? Well, there's levels of heaven, right? I want to get up to a high level, man. You know what I want more than anything is to make the Lord God happy, to make Jesus happy, to know they're looking down at me and they're happy because in heaven, they see what they do, what we do. And when we overcome fear and we just go, we preach it. We do one little thing for him. Do one little thing. Do a big thing. If you can preach, preach. You can all preach. You're all preachers. There you go. Make your own YouTube channel. Preach it. Say it to people on the streets. Preach it. Give comfort and love to the other Christians. Preach it. We are on God's time. We're on the clock. He has given us salvation with his precious blood. Do we not believe in the gospel? We are on the clock. He will pay our bills. He will protect us. He will take care of us. I assure you, he will. I'm praying for all you guys on my prayer list. More names, please. <laughs> Give me some more names. Also, please pray for my parents, Joan Monroe and Clifford Carey, that they may have less fear. Please pray for them for that. And guys, don't fear not having money. Don't fear sickness. Don't fear these things. Prayer is a source of power. It's a fountain of power. Pray. We can't do this with our own power. I don't have any power. I pray and I come close to God and God loves me. He's my friend. So then he gives me strength and I get tired and down and there's moments, but then it just comes back. Prayer is what gives us power. Pray for others. That gives them power and it gives you power back. Okay. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer is amazing. Read the Bible. You know, the swords of the Lord. We got prayer. Uh, we got the word, uh, we got loving the Lord, right? Those are all the swords of the Lord. By the way, the Lord gave me a literal sword. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. It's a long story. Guys, let's work for our beloved Lord. He wants us to do work. I'm not saying never kick back. I'm not saying no, work. He is paying all the bills. He will take care of everything. He will protect us from the CIA and the DEA and all kinds of things. But what he can't, he can't, what he can't do is just make us unashamed, make us unafraid. He can't do that. We fear him. We have to overcome our fear. We have to overcome our shame. Overcome it. We are the overcomers. Shouts out to Brother Wayne. What up, Wayne? Yo, Brother Wayne. Guys, we our job is we got to overcome this fear. We got to 
either roar like a lion or peep like a mouse or sing with a song for Jesus Christ. Let's show this world how unafraid we are. Because this world, oh, everybody's afraid of the government and of this and of that and of that and of that. Hey, I am too in a certain ways, but we don't have much time left. Let's just overcome the fear, get out there, sing. I'll make another video. I'll do more stuff. It's not about me. It's about JC, Jesus Christ. Okay, sorry. Jesus Christ. It's about Jesus Christ and the great sacrifice that he that he made. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry for calling you JC. I repent. Look, it's done. See that? It's forgiven. See how easy it is? Done. Okay, so guys, please, please work for the Lord. Please. Hey, someone want to have a competition with me? Oh, you think you're going to rise up in the firmament? I'll rise up. Come on, do it. Come on, compete. It's a, it's a good competition. Um, since you know you're going to heaven, why not do some work while we're on earth? There's so little time left. It's fun. It's fun to do. Look at how much fun I'm having. It makes your life better. I was living alone. Then I met a, a man in the streets. Oh, we had a weird thing where I was like, he could be Satan. He thought I might be Satan. We start talking. And then I realized he's a believer. We hug. He didn't have anywhere to sleep. I'm like, coming to my house. We're a team operation. He's out now buying some lunch for us. We're like, this is awesome, dude. I got a roommate. See how fun this is? And I know up there in heaven, they're looking down at me. And they feel different things in heaven. They feel sadness. They feel joy. They're looking down on the earth. They want us to mobilize. Let's do this. I don't know where this will lead in terms of what tomorrow will happen. This is happening fast. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. I want more work, Lord. I'll do more, Lord. I'll sing, Lord. May your song shine through me, Lord. It's the only song I have to sing of the Lord Jesus Christ. So please, my friends on the channel, let's do this. Let's roll for the Lord. We don't get tired. Did Jesus get tired? Jesus prayed. There was crowds around him. He prayed. He came out. He told the disciples to pray. Then someone prayed. And Jesus was like, come on, pray more, guys. Look what he did on the earth. We can do that too. We're not Jesus, but we're his front lines. The more we share in his suffering, the more glory we give to him. The Lord glorifies us back. And can you even imagine the glory we will taste in heaven? Oh, I can imagine some visions of it. It's amazing. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's not be afraid of details. Let's just roll with love. Do it your own way. You don't have to be like me. Take it how you will, but let's roll. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. There's no time. Let's do this. Let's push. It's just a little bit longer. It's just a little bit longer. If all you can do is a tiny thing, if you can just pray for one person today, well, that makes the Lord happy. Whatever he gives us, let's give it back. Let's give it back. Let's give it back. Let's just offer it. Let's just offer it. Think of it this way, man. I make these videos. I try different styles. When I make them, I then offer them to the Lord. And I say, okay, Lord, oh, please take the offering. And yeah, there was one the other day. He didn't like it. He, he, he has ways. He didn't like it. I didn't understand why. I'm like, okay, I make another one. Maybe he, he won't like this one. I don't know. I have a way of seeing it. And if he doesn't, cool, I'll make another one. Keep trying. What, what fear do we have of air? Let's just try. There's so little time. Let's just roll out. Um, what are the, what are we going to say it? The Lord wants you. You know, those old army ads, the U.S. government wants you to join the army. Okay. Remember that from when we were kids? Well, you're already part of the army. So now the commander, Jesus, it wants us to work and hustle and go out and spread the love and spread the gospel. We do it in different ways. Can I do what brother Wayne does? No way. Can I do what brother Stephen does? No way. Can I do what brother Tom does? No way. Can I do what the good doctor, that's what I call John Barton, does? No way. But I got over that fear. I said, I'll do what I can do. I'll make this channel. The Lord has blessed it. We're rising up. He blesses you just as much. He's no respecter of persons. He's not selective in his blessings. Let's just do what we can do. <laughs> it's a little thing. Those days, all I could do was cry. I had tiny things to offer the Lord. I would say, Lord, take my tiny thing. It's all I have to give. <laughs> and I felt sad like I may not have been serving the Lord enough but he took my tiny thing and then he said Evan I'll give you a YouTube channel <laughs> and now I have a YouTube channel and it's awesome magic's happening guys 
Won't you please give our lovely Lord a tiny thing, or a big thing, or anything you have? Won't you offer him your wholehearted soul? He's taken my wholehearted soul. It's the great honor I've ever had. Uh, he's my friend. He's my friend. He'll be with me for eternity. I love my friend. Please, please, he wants to be your friend. Your heart is friend. Give it for your heart. Come on, come on, come on. It makes him happy. It makes God happy. He wants us to... to, 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 to oh. Oh, does it make sense? Oh, I hope it makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Okay, guys. Oh, when Carmelo uh, comes back, I'm going to do a video with him. He speaks Spanish. He's lighting up with the fire of the Holy Spirit. It'll come upon you. The more you give away, the more you get back. This is a battle for souls. We're here to say this is a message for Satan. These souls belong to us. He died on the cross for all men, for all women. Let's take these souls with love with the gospel and say, no, no, Satan, those are not your souls. Let's overcome fear and go out. As you guys have seen with Randy Kay, as he says, it is true. Every time someone repents, every time someone says those words out loud with their mouth, with a sincere heart, every time that happens, heaven rejoices. It's an actual thing that happens in heaven. So if you're seeing this video and you aren't saved, please, Please, please just say the words once with your open mouth, a sincere heart. Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. I ask your forgiveness. Take my soul into your care. That's all you got to do. Do it soon. There's so little time left. All right, guys. Let's roar like the lions we are. Why? Because the lion of the tribe of Judah won this battle. The root of David. So we are his sheep, but you know what? Sheeps can roar too. Why not, baby? Try it out. Just try it out. Come on, come on, come on. Rally them. We are the Jesus army. Let's get out there. Everyone in their own different ways. We don't have to do it the same way. Maybe you can send lots of nice messages to other people, to your other friends. The way I see it, we got two objectives. Primary objective, win souls for Jesus by spreading the gospel. Secondary objective, still very important. Give comfort and love to our fellow soldiers on the field. We all do it in different ways. Maybe you can just cook a really nice meal today for your husband. Maybe you can make a, a nice card and give it to someone. If you're a husband, maybe you can go out there and be unashamed, fight the forces of society, and then come home and give your Christian wife a beautiful group of roses. Maybe you can, okay, guys, I'm, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever our parts are, whatever we can do, you know what you can do? Pray to the Lord. Ask him, say, Lord, how can I best serve you? Tell him, Lord, I want to give more. Lord, I want more. I'm not giving enough, Lord. Lord, I want to give more. I do, Lord. Even think it's in your heart, Lord's going to see that. You will see signs. Suddenly, a door is opened up. A door opened up for me in the form of a YouTube channel. The door's open for you guys. What I'm saying is, why don't you run through that door? There's not much time. We're going to fly. We're going to be in heaven. Oh, how much we honor and glorify him when we give what we have to give. Okay, guys. I got to get back to um, whatever I was doing before the video. I love you guys. Please send me messages. I love to hear from you. Um, okay. All right, guys. I love you. I love Jesus most of all. Now and forever. Amen.